From the creator of randomness comes Pokemon! Hi everybody, I'm Grady, and we're going to be doing a Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Not something I thought I'd get off the ground, but here we are. Should be a fun time, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot the memory card. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'll be right. My easiest things to forget. Yeah, sorry about that cut. That was. Hulk. Uh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> so I had to I had to dig through some stuff and bring out my memory cards because I had them packed away. I didn't think I need them. Happens to the best of us. Alright, we're going to be starting a new game here. Now, typically, in a story-driven game, I tend to go with the um, official name, and that just happens to be Michael. Works for me. Hey, the brochure didn't say anything about a mysterious Pokemon coming down. <laughs> of all the shadowy figures in the world, they decide to just destroy a boat. <laughs> <laughs> More like a duck to cruise. It's like reverse Titanic. They just took the ship out of the water instead of throwing it into an iceberg. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. So interesting looking at like the graphical differences nowadays because I feel like this game went from a little bit of a realistic look versus some of the more like pixely games from this time that Pokemon did. Still not so bad though. <clears throat> yeah, this was pretty impressive for this time. Yeah. You can run this one of two ways. You can either toss a couple of earth crates towards that mana cross. Or you can use a yeah, dragon dance I mean. and then use an earthquake. Very fair. <laughs> I don't know why it's using Sludge Bomb other than it wants to make you think that it's attacking you and <laughs> it just will never win. Although I guess if you only went for Dragon Claw, you'd probably lose. I wonder if you lose, if it, what it does. That's something I never quite figured out, really. Yeah, I'm guessing not that many people test it. Probably not. Probably a lot of A button mashing that goes on in that section. Yeah. The only way you can lose is on purpose. Exactly. Yes, sir. That was well played, battle, Michael. Your screw Screws? <laughs> yes, your screws have improved. You're a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Your metal skills have improved by an amazing amount. I mean, it was impressive the way you handled that big Pokemon with a plump. <laughs> okay, that's that's always been a funny word. It's like a plump. I've never seen that word before. <laughs> what does a plum mean? <laughs> Can't say I know too well. Though my head, but it just sounds funny. Took command of it as if it was the same as your Eevee. This is something I kind of want to see make a comeback. You know, like having Eevee as your starter Pokemon. Yeah, I think it works really well for a side game type thing. I feel like Pokemon's done a lot less side games in the most recent, like, <clears throat> generation. Yeah, I don't know if Let's Go Eevee <clears throat> counts as a side game or not.
It's a re remake and it, it's a really dumbed down one. Yeah. My biggest gripe with um, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Week 2, believe it or not, is the friendly rival. Understandable. They just kind of took one of the main characters and just said, you know what? Let's get rid of him. Let's replace him with someone who just gets rolled over every time. <clears throat> it's really funny to me that every time your Pikachu just lives on one HP. Yeah. No matter what. Hi, Michael. Unkillable. Have you finished your training? <clears throat> Michael, this is the Parcher's office. Like, you want to pay a visit to Versa Crane? <laughs> you don't need to be that stiffly official, Willie. But. Oh, yes. I heard the battle coach singing high praise to you, Michael. He is an amazing fighter. <laughs> well, he <laughs> said singing <laughs> high praise. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Apparently, we're hot shit because we beat a Metagross that used Sludge Bomb. <laughs> and we had a Solomon on our team. Yeah, it, amazing. <laughs> yes, it takes a lot of skill to use Earthquake. So very much. Okay, he's saying he doubt he was saying much of a chance. To be fair, Professor Crane isn't really much of a trainer. That's it. Does appear that way. I feel like most of the professors aren't, except for Generation Seven. Where he ended or, up. Uh, <clears throat> or Professor Oak in Generation 1 in his prime, I guess we'll say. Yeah. According to Oak, anyway. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's all stories. Maybe it actually is true. Possibly. Maybe they'll yeah. actually show us that someday. <clears throat> <clears throat> there is actually um, a battle programmed in... The first generation where you can fight for Professor Oak, but the only way you can get to him is hacking into the game. Actually, Pokemon likes to leave a lot of that type of stuff in the game. True. Kind of like missing. Kind of like missing no, which evolves into a Kangaskhan. Yeah, that and the event Arceus they put in Platinum that they never released. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Mom, we'll find our sister. Off to go do senior labor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want my payment for this, Mother. <laughs> there will be no payment. I guess I love that PDA in your room, Michael. Go check it out. Well, the PDAs are a thing just for such a short period of time. Yeah. <clears throat> In case you don't okay, know what laugh. a PDA is, it's basically uh, the pokey here. Similar to something you would have seen called, like, similar to, like, a cell phone, but not quite, and, like, I think around <clears throat> 2005. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> Four you, cell phones got super popular. Mm, this combination works, but this doesn't quite fit. Hi, Hi Michael. Michael. I'm, I'm compiling the basic data for that big project of ours. Really, I thought you were so he's doing the grunt work. <laughs> really, I thought you were working on a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> huh? Love big project? Why is the fear by chamber, of course, didn't you know? First time you heard about the fear by chamber. Yeah, I feel like this is the. Did this one come after Coliseum or before? After Coliseum. This is five years after the events of Coliseum. Gotcha. So we've been introduced to purifying Pokemon before this, but. Definitely something we're going to have to do lots of. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Bring you honest news. 
That's actually how I, that's actually how I read it for the first time I played this. It's on the news. That's what it looks like. I don't know how they came up with that name. I mean, it looks like a broadcasting network. <laughs> Authorities have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship, the SS Labra, since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gatchon Port, which I believe SS Labra was named after someone's astrological sign. Sources unconfirmed. <laughs> It, I think it is. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised. There have been no reports of float sim that many indicate the ship's sinking. The authorities appear mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports of numerous Pokemon that on board. Concern is rising over their welfare. That thing seemed to happen in this universe of Pokemon quickly. All the time. <laughs> team Rocket, Team Magma, Team Aqua, Team Galactic. Nope. And nobody's there to stop them except for a 10-year-old boy. Except for a uh, black and white, a 14-year-old boy, but who's got Yeah. Who's cargo ship that doesn't vanish into thin air? Yeah. <clears throat> it's had to be more careful searching. Ship probably had engine trouble. It must be a drift this in the sea somewhere. Hmm. Rumor has it that first that a new Pokemon that even first a crane has never seen on that missing ship. Very worrying. All the Pokemon on board are safe from harm. This is one of this is actually a game where we got to look into two fourth generation Pokemon. Very interesting. I, it always surprises me when they put um, <clears throat> gener Pokemon in before the next generation that they already have done. Like how in Gen 1 Cider. anime, I think it was. Hello oh, was always Cider. in the sky. <laughs> Something appears to be not quite right with that Psyduck. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what. I just caught a shiny Quagsire the other day when I was playing through the Dynamax adventures in the new Pokemon games. Michael, have you seen Joby? We're playing hide and seek. I, I don't know why I'm giving everyone the same voice. <clears throat> I had to come up with unique ones for each and every one of them. <laughs> but Joby has been gone in a while now. Maybe he's playing in your room. I wouldn't put a pastor to enter my room without permission. I could definitely see it. Alright, let's get the public displays of affection. I mean... The personal <laughs> digital assistant. <laughs> Shiny! Let's get... I love that all of a sudden it just starts glowing. That's half the items in this game. Yeah. <laughs> if you're reading this email, then you must have obtained the PBA. Trout's new features, by the way, add-on... Was playing hide and seek with Toby. Let's chat with him. We just did. He's a nice little lad. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they gave us three potions instead of one. Yeah. Probably would be helpful for later. XT is pretty generous with his iron boxes. Nothing wrong with that. What? You startled me. Oh, hi, it's you, Michael. It's me. I thought you're looking for Joby. We're supposed to be playing hide and seek right now, but she isn't anywhere. Here. Well, maybe she's gone after Dr. Kaminko's Manor. <laughs> Guess we're off to go to Dr. Kaminko's Manor. Yeah, it's a big weird house southeast of here. You have to cross a river. Joey's. It in our game of hide and seek, and when she comes by me soon, my back is starting to hurt. <laughs> how much you want to bet she just forgot about him? How much, how much you want to bet she just set up the game of hide and seek, had had on hide, so she can bail on him? So sad. Yeah, it really is. Really depressing when I put it like that. Do you think at first dates for people ever end that way? Someone's just like, you know what, let's play hide and seek. I'll be it, you go hide. And then they just disappear. 
or they set up a day like you show up waiting about an hour and they no, and they're no show. Yeah, I had that happen Either. to me a couple times. Yikes! But, I think I've definitely had people forget to show up when I've had things set up. I haven't been on like tons of dates, <laughs> but let's go off this depressing, <laughs> depressing subject and let's get to dark mangoes. Off to Kaminko's house we go. I love that our moped works on the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how we got over that river. I really do. <clears throat> Probably, Probably a small river that we can't see on the map. Probably. I love that the house from that angle from before looked like an Electabuzz. Yeti! I didn't see that, but once I get back to the map... Perhaps it was just like, uh, two antennas, like, basically sticking up from the Wait, thing. Wait, who goes there? I'm on I might have been overthinking it, though. Yeti! Yeah, you must be a burglar. Chobin, pull you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is an alien. Chobin is no one assistant in Dr. Kaminko. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be number one assistant. By proxy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Like the glasses are wonderful. I was about to say that. He's got really <laughs> cool glasses on him. I don't know if it's supposed to be the outside of his glasses, or they're just trying to say he just looks ridiculous, or what. I mean, High level yeah. advantage, also much appreciated. <clears throat> High level advantage against a terrible Pokemon. Very true. I also I mean, want to know it's that where our XP trash. came from. Our XP bar is like 75% full already. Yeah. That's kind of how it is in the game. Why specifically 75%? Mm -hmm. Who knows? <clears throat> Minko Age, Hoban defeated. Hoban laws! <laughs> you really gotta get... Just... <laughs> you really gotta get those things fitted, man. <laughs> Poor guy. You made Kelvin angry now! Even though Kelvin lost, you're still not getting past Kelvin. A poor loser. Huh? Closer observ observation reveals that something is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. <clears throat> yes. Because children can't be burglars. <laughs> Of course not. Children never do anything bad. Haha. <laughs> Chubbin with Kizzy spoke up right away. Chubbin forgets you're our silent protagonist. Ergo, can't speak up. You're Michael? Chubbin apologizes. This is for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Yeti! <clears throat> there she is. There is Meatball Head herself. Yep. It's an interesting haircut. <laughs> oh, big brother, what are you doing here? I'm not a big fan of Yogi, by the way. Uh, Understandable. No, I he's I feel like her. Uh, 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 that was kind of art style. Jelby, point. Because Jalvi knows. Make out something. You don't say. <laughs> okay, there's a bunch of machines. She invites us to take a look. Uh, you can say that, Kelvin. <clears throat> Do you think that Coliseum and XD both have some of the most, like, <clears throat> special characters? Like, they're just so funny and goofy sometimes. Like this man who just wants to keep talking in the third person. <laughs> Chopin this, Chopin that. <laughs> yeah. I would say the cast of characters really does it for me here in, in these games. Yeah. Oh, what's... Okay. I always forget his name. The... Chobin will now show you the inventions of the... Esteemable Dr. Kaminko. Am I, am I pronouncing that right? Um... Yes. Yeah, I think so. I... I've not seen that me. word very much. 
Dr. Kimiko's invent inventions needs to be said are number one. In the world, Toba is full of adoration. Oh, why does Toba know they're number one worldwide? That needs explaining. In the whole wide world, no one but Dr. Kimiko would invent such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world without question. Uh, that needs to be seen and believed. <laughs> Absolute champion. Need need no evidence. He can do whatever he wants. They call him Chobin, <clears throat> losing with his son Kern. Dr. Kimiko can't do no wrong. And there's Meeple Head. Oh my. That, his hair just keeps on moving and dancing. <laughs> Not to mention, her mining is in her is in his hair. Oh, what the heck? That explains what that blue thing is. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like, he looks like a lot like Doctor Stone. Yeah, that that's uh, Yelby's mining. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's, it's, it's not in his hair, but rather behind it. Just layers getting all mixed up. Yeah, that camera angle makes it look like mine is in his hair. Gotcha. Okay, so he's gonna play VCR. <laughs> okay, this, all, all this does is just show him talking and talking. Meanwhile, we see these inventions. Just wants to leave something to the imagination. <laughs> yeah, right, true. <clears throat> Chobin's choice is this. Ta-da! The unhealthy sandals. <laughs> the insole is stubbed with lumpy nubs that fail to circulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these, and Chobin will guarantee painful being a chronic worsening of your health. Chobin thinks it's superlative. superlative. Superlative, I think. There's a lot of big words in this game, which is very surprising given who their like key audience is. Yeah, baby. If you want hard to pronounce stuff, play Link to the Past. I've not played that one yet. I've played a lot of them like 3D Zelda games, but not a lot of the 2D ones. There's a name that's really hard to pronounce. I think it's Sarhatrala or something. Gotcha. Ah, incredible, is it not? There's so much more than that, too. Yes. Chronic worsening of our health. Yeah, why would me want that? Let me invest 500 million Pokemon dollars for this. <laughs> or a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is to be believed. Poke. I'm happy that he's just gonna let us use whatever we want. Alright, he's in the machine anytime. Let's see what else he's got. <clears throat> Number the one power, in the world. The power draining <laughs> light bulb. <clears throat> At first glance, it's an, it's an ordinary sort of flame light bulb. But it positively gulps electricity. At 10 times the usual rate. Get it? Positively gulps electricity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Keep this up and your electricity bills will grow shockingly. And it won't be easy to apply. Chubba makes this dazzling. Oh, that's funny. The Get Vacuum Cleaner. Or the Superpower Get Vacuum Cleaner. When it sucks up and blows out the beer using powerful jet propulsion that shreds dust into fine particles. Don't worry, vacuum. The more your room gets covered in invisible, good dust from corner to corner. Chubba thinks this is splend splendorous. I feel like he doesn't <clears throat> actually talk fully correctly. I'm not sure if, like, those words are all spelled 100% right. They might. Honestly, I don't know if half these words are even real. I... We might not never know. A power saving refrigerator. If the purpose is to conserve power, you won't be making a mistake with this refrigerator. It's really one of a kind. It's an ultra energy saver that simply shuts off. 
Only when, <laughs> only turns on when it, when it says to protect someone is in front of it. Who calls that right away? No one knows why, because the fridge is on when the door is open. Come on, Nathan. <laughs> Splendid. That, that's a truly wonderful invention. <laughs> that has to be my favorite one of the bunch. <clears throat> I feel like they tried to make him ridiculous enough that even at the tender age of like six, they could figure out that this just would not make any sense. The Time, time cut, cut Recorder. It works in a video deck. When you're recording a TV program, this device ends up recording five minutes early. If you're recording a movie, you'd be the best part of assembly. The screen goes black. Come on, Ace, this is something. <laughs>